What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is the best books I've read in the decade. I want to just address that this is an opinion-based list. These are my opinions of the books that I really enjoyed during the decade, but they're not my favorites anymore. But I want to address that these were my favorites at the point in the decade where I read them. I was going to do like from 2010 to 2019, but I didn't start reading until 2013, 2014 when I started my booktube channel. So I thought it wasn't fair to mention them if I didn't read them that year. So here are the 10 books that were my favorites in the decade. The first book is Amy and Rogers, A Big Detour by Morgan Matson. To this day, this is still one of my favorite Morgan Matson books, primarily because I love me a road trip book. Give me that shit and I will read it. I love books with road trips and this is one of my favorite road trip books. Always will be and I don't think anything can top it or I haven't read anything that has topped it so far. But this is also the start of me getting into the book community and really making friends. This book has a fond memory because it was the start of a book club that I started. I had a live show discussing this book and my guest was Emma from Emma Books. She was one of my first booktube friends and this book just really brought back those memories. I think the live show is still up, but please don't go and search for it because it's probably super cringy. The next book is one of my all-time favorites, and this is Paper Towns by John Green. This is one of my favorite books, and I saw a picture recently, and I was really into photography in high school, and I took a picture of my backpack, and I had this book in it. It says the picture was taken in 2011, so I read this book in 2011. Whoa, I thought that I read it like so much earlier than that. But no, I read this in 2011 and it's still one of my favorites, mainly because of the memories and like I said, I love road trip books. <laughs> I love them and I really just love this story. It means a lot to me and that's why it's on this list. Next is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. If you've been with me since the start of my channel, I loved this book so much. <laughs> I raved about it so much and I cringe. At the time that I read this, I loved this book, but now I've departed with it and have realized that I've read way better contemporaries than Fangirl, and it's not the best one. There's more that are better, um, but I do appreciate this book for what it gave me, and it really introduced me to contemporary and introduced me to booktube, and for that, I am thankful for it. For that, I am thankful for it, but thank you, next. Next is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This book was my first review. Before booktube, I actually had a blog, and I blogged, I think, for like a couple months, and then I made a booktube, and I just remember being so nervous because I wrote this review before the movie, read the book before the movie, and I was going to tell my friend, and I think I did tell her that I had a blog post, and then I remember our one friend in my friend group, she did the same thing and made a book blog and then posted her review of it, and I was just so pissed off. So yeah, whenever I pick up this book, I think of that, but this was also the first book that made me realize that I will never lend my book out to anyone ever again because I lent this to a girl I was friends with and she took it for a very long time uh, for like a whole semester and I was like hey where's the book when are you gonna finish it and then she brought it back to me damaged and I was very pissed off this book taught me to never lend out my books ever again. This book was also my start of reviewing. Now, I have reviewed for five years, and I went back and read my review for this, and I am so much better at reviewing now, but this just holds that place, but it's honestly, like, not the best book. Like, I don't really like it anymore. This is another book that has a lot of memories attached to it. Next is This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. This is another favorite book of mine, and it is a favorite of all time. This is such a good book with mental health representation. This is about a girl named Elise who struggles with depression and suicidal thoughts, and she discovers DJing as a coping mechanism, and it is just such a good book. I definitely need to reread this, and I just really enjoy it, and it got me 
me started on dark contemporaries and books with mental health representation. Most of the books on this list are still my favorites, just a few exceptions, but next is a favorite, and this is Zack and Mia by AJ Betts. I love this. It is such a good cancer book. It's a Hulu series now, and it is just such a good book that shows two different sides of having cancer, and I just love this, and I don't have anything else to say. I just really enjoy it. Next is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Abertali. This book means so much to me because it was my first ever real arc, and this was so exciting because I remember reading it in January and reviewing it and then making a video and just getting so excited, and it's still one of my favorite books. All right, last two is Landline by Rainbow Rowell, my favorite book by Rainbow Rowell. And that's it. That's all I have to say. But this was also my first adult book that I actually enjoyed. I reread it during Christmas time and I have a whole reading vlog you can watch. This is still my favorite and I had to include it on this list. And last is a book I read in 2019 and it is forever a favorite. This is Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. It has hockey. It's so good. Frederick Bachman is now my favorite author and I just really enjoy this book. And that's it. <laughs> I just really enjoy this book. I forgot a book and I can't believe I forgot this one, but I forgot to add To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This was such a pivotal book on my channel. I talked about this so much and it is still one of my favorite series. I never really used to pick up series and this is one of the few series that I completed. And I read this for my first ever book tubeathon. So there are so many memories attached to all of these books and I knew I had to include this one. I can't believe I almost forgot. So that was my best books of the decade list. Let me know what your favorite book from the decade was down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I have a page Patreon if you'd like to support me there. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time.